The Citizens Coalition for Change, the C will likely go ahead with its Pindra rally despite Zimbabwe Republic Police move to bar it, the new Zimbabwe.com can reveal. It is the third time in less than two weeks that ZRP senior officers have barred C President Nelson Chamisa from addressing his supporters. He was denied an opportunity in Chiredzi where the police said they did not have enough resources to ensure safety and peace at Triple C's event, arguing all of its personnel would be attending a clinic opening ceremony. In Zaka, Chamisa was stopped in the middle of an address by police officers who claimed they had been told his time was up, no other explanation was given. With elections just over a month away, there has been increasing scrutiny on how state security agencies are handling the issue of freedoms and rights that should be enjoyed by C and other opposing parties. Speaking to NewZimbabwe.com, party spokesperson Fadzai Mahere said Chamisa will go ahead with these provincial tools, adding that they were challenging the ban. Our lawyers are challenging the ban. As soon as we have an outcome, we will communicate, Mahere told New Zimbabwe. Our mass raw penetration movement and get out the vote campaign have shocked ZANU-PF. Nothing can stop us. We are undeterred by this unconstitutional conduct. Chamisa has gone ahead with his presidential tour of Masingo province and it will spread to all provinces in Zimbabwe. Chamisa and our cluster leaders will continue to meet community leaders, traditional leaders, special interest groups and citizens and mobilize us big for change. The explanation given by the police in Bindra was that Triple C's venue was not conducive for a public gathering. Police communication in New Zimbabwe.com's possession indicated security and health worries. The rally is scheduled for Brockdale. This office has reservations in respect of the suitability of the venue, taking into account all relevant security factors necessary reads the letter in response to Triple C's notification. The venue falls within an undeveloped piece of land which is bushy without serviceable roads, water and sewer facilities. It provides a high risk security threat to the participants and high risk threat to the spread of any communicable disease. In the event of any public disorder, the police and other emergency services would have challenges accessing the venue. As a result, our mandate to protect life and property and to maintain law and order will be compromised. Similar cases of police barring CCC rallies were reported during last year's by election period, leading the opposition party to declare Mnangagwa wanted to go it alone. Zimbabwe heads for crunch polls on August 23 with Chamisa and ZANU PF candidate Emerson Mnangagwa front runners. Nine other candidates will be vying for presidency in an election that has attracted 10 different political parties.